How do entrepreneurs grow their ventures? We have been talking to some highly successful entrepreneurs and worked out that they each follow a clear process of growth. It begins with a successful entrepreneur freeing themselves from the day-to-day -day demands. To be able to create a new stage of growth without jeopardising their existing operations, the entrepreneurs we talked to first transferred management of day-to-day -day issues to trusted business associates. They needed liberating from the mundane demands of operational management to get outside the company and strategise growth. As one person put it, A safe pair of hands to put the core business into, to allow the fairies to go after the butterflies, to waft around and see what's going on. Having become liberated, entrepreneurs seek inspiration outside their own firms. Entrepreneurs see this task as beginning not with rational, environmental or internal analysis, but with wandering around, chatting to other people about which way the wind is blowing. Having conversations with a broad spectrum of people about what's happening in the business world, what's going to happen in the industry. These were not viewed as meetings, there was no set agenda and no formal analysis before or afterwards, just inspiring conversations. Once inspired by future possibilities from outside the business, the entrepreneurs returned to their own ventures to turn this inspiration into a more specific vision. Discussing these ideas and insights with their colleagues until a consistent image of what their business world's future might look like. They work informally with others inside their business to develop a vision of where the sector is heading and where they could fit into this vision. At this stage, what is still unknown is the exact nature of a future product or service, nor the resources that will be required to deliver this innovation. Entrepreneurs next engage selected business friends, typically senior executives, in quite precise conversations about their own growth needs. This takes the form of a series of conversations which articulate the problems and lead to the co-development of innovative products, services and processes, and eventually a contract. As one entrepreneur put it, All my new products and service ideas come through conversations with customers. For these ideas to be made real and for growth to happen, the vision and product articulations have to be transformed into actual new product development and launch. Although much messier in real life than this framework suggests, the process could be seen to repeat itself through each cycle of their venture's growth. And while the fourth step here of talking to your customers is often well recognised, our research shows that without first liberating, inspiring and visioning, there is little point in trying to articulate a concept with your existing or potential customers.